Hey, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcleTechZonePage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Morses with your Wednesday morning forecast update. Once again today, we are looking at some scattered thunderstorms impacting the region. Those popped up about 1, 2 a.m. across the I-20 corridor, and they just have a very slow drift to the south here. So it's one of the issues we saw yesterday, and it did result in some heavy rain totals north of I-20. So we have, do have an aerial flood advisory out for Sabine Parish, where a uh, thunderstorm is tapered off for the time being, but we do have some additional rain on the way for you. And uh, again, radar estimate. We've seen over two inches of rain in some of those areas, and you see just a uh, ridiculous amount of lightning with some of the storms this morning. But at this point, really not expecting that we'll see anything as far as severe weather. However, uh, some isolated flooding in these locations south of I-20 will be a possibility. We could see some additional storms pop up further to the north. So uh, again, slow progress with this cold front through the region. So that's where the heavy rain is this morning. Upstream, kind of watching some of the rain that's popping up over the Red River there uh, in Oklahoma and Texas. Eventually, that could trigger a few storms across the northern Arkansas. Text. But overall, should see the rain chances lower for Arkansas and uh, Oklahoma as we go through the afternoon. But we are looking at an additional round of storms as we warm up today, and that will likely impact Shreveport, Bossier, and everybody to the south who's already seeing some of the rain this morning. So your temperatures starting out low to mid 70s. The humidity has kind of been blown out of the region in most areas as we do have that north wind beginning to settle in at about five to ten miles per hour, and that will keep the flow of dry air not only today but really for the remainder of the week. So our humidity will be lower uh, through at least Friday. Your highs today just due to the cloud cover if you're not seeing rain should be partly to mostly cloudy and that will hold most of us in the northern Arkletex mid 80s once again today your high yesterday in Texarkana was 82 so you'll be at 86 today Shreveport about 88 and I uh, don't think we'll see many 90s but if we do it will be where the sunshine pops out a little bit later so uh, again looking at the HRRR model which updates every hour it has a really good handle on where the rain is this morning and it does keep those uh, thunderstorms going south of I-20 through the first half of the day notice uh, like we saw yesterday kind of a lull through the middle of the day but as we begin to warm things up. Pretty good uh, batch of scattered storms popping up for the afternoon and evening. Won't affect everybody, uh, but you see all corners of the region here still showing the potential for a little bit of rain even for the afternoon evening commute. We really begin to dry things out tonight. So for your Thursday, we'll get the sunshine back, which means most of us will be back into the low 90s. There will be a few spotty showers out there for Thursday, uh, but I think most of us probably missing the rain uh, Thursday, Friday, and through the upcoming weekend. So if you enjoy the rain, today will be basically the last day of it for most of us until we get to some point into next week. Of course, we do have Tropical Storm Dorian that's out there in the Caribbean that continues to move very slowly to the northwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So the latest uh, 4 a.m. advisory from the Hurricane Center, not good news for Florida as the uh, track takes it up uh, north of the Bahamas there and just kind of turns it into North Florida here as we go through the weekend into early next week. Yesterday, they had it making uh, landfalls a Category 1 hurricane. Now they have it up to a Category 2 and uh, possibly stronger. So a lot uh, of things for folks there to watch. If you do have travel plans to the southeast coast, I would say uh, late in the weekend, early next week, keep an eye on this. At this point, it doesn't look like it will have any impact on us, but of course that can change just based on the uncertainty with the forecast track, uh, maybe taking it a little bit further to the south. So we'll continue to give you updates on that. But as we head through the weekend, it will be hot, will be dry with highs returning to the mid-90s. The good news is with the east and northeast wind, we should cut down on the humidity this weekend. So we likely won't see any heat advisories and should see plenty of sunshine through next Monday.